for we are to God the fragrance of Christ. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 15. Hello, my name is Tokwe and welcome to Top Notes by Tokwe. If today is the first time you see my face, I'm a fragrance reviewer and I specialize in Middle Eastern fragrances, Arabic or Arabian fragrance. So if that's something you like, welcome. Just to be a part of the family, why don't you click the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you are always notified when I upload a new video. Today in the video, I have a Paris Corner fragrance to share with you. So if you are interested to know which Paris Corner fragrance I'm going to share with you today, without much ado, let's get into the video. Hi, welcome back. Yes, you are in the video. So whilst at it, why don't you hit the like button? Thank you. And then also, I'd love to know what your scent of the day is. So why don't you put in the comment section what your scent of the day is for today. So today I have this Paris Corner fragrance for you right here. This is what it is. And um, it's called Refakat. Refakat. I don't know if I'm saying this well. It's called Refakat and this is what the box looks like. So that's it's a plain box. And this is one of the rare occasions where I have the box to my fragrance. Right. Okay. So the fragrance, this is what it looks like. And um, I'm going to spritz it here so that on skin and then also on. So the notes here are top notes of L LMI. It has pink pepper. It has black pepper. It has saffron. It has um, olibum, olibanium. Olib Little olibanium and it has and it has vanilla and it has cedar wood this is um a dupe of ysl's baby cut and um i have smells baby cut i have a small you know sample of it i will probably do like um a side by side comparison but this is just to talk about this one and the difference in notes they have similar notes except i think leather or suede that is in baby cuts that is not here okay and um, as you can see I've, I've done a bit of a damage on this so let me tell you what this smells like so to my nose this starts off quite sweet it's a sweet scent but it has like um it's sweet at the beginning and that is definitely because of the vanilla but it has this nice sweetness to it it starts and i think it has also this resinous thing that it starts with like a deep resin and that's because of the lmi lmi is a warm spicy resin it's almost lemony or zesty you know so it, it gives it like a really nice bright opening you smell some zesty lemon grassy thing at the beginning and that's because of the lmi and the peppers too pink pepper too is a bit zesty so it's that so it, it, it's very slightly you know it has the zestiness of peppers at the beginning so if you love which is like yeah it's like a it's like a, almost like a, a very light lemon grassy you know beautiful zest with a tad bit of sweetness to it right and when it begins to develop you begin to pick up setting like um a bit pungentness you know like um something almost woody or woody from it but it is almost also like a smooth leathery feel to it but the leather or suede is not here but you begin to pick that up in the background as this fragrance gets into like the 45 50 one hour of it you begin to pick that up in it and then just as that one is coming the vanilla also begins to come in and it begins to lose the zestiness of the alamai and then it picks up a bit of creaminess and i think it's because of the other notes which is the ol olubamium and olubamium is like the other form or synthetic forms of frankincense oil so it, it has that resinous nature to it with the added um vanilla to it that begins to come and shine it, it it maintains a bit of that like leathery woodiness like a leather wood thing which i think might be from the type of cedar wood that is used because leather or suede is not mentioned here but when it reaches the four or five hour it becomes like it becomes predominantly almost like a vanilla and a woody leather thing you know leather or suede kind of a thing it's very light but it's very beautiful this is a very strong scent and i think that is also a scent that you need to it's, it could be slightly challenging if you ask me because it starts off a bit you know a bit pungent but it's more around like a very warm spicy zesty thing like um, lemongrass that begins with it then it begins to get a bit much more warmed up and much more creamy with the frank frankincense and vanilla like notes coming in and then it stays more vanilla and sweaty you know at the end so it's quite a challenging set but it still maintains a bit of sweetness 
there's something that makes it very very sweet and i won't believe it's the vanilla that is there but it's not overly sweet it's just sweet enough to balance the leather and the suediness that it has so it's a very beautiful scent it has a like it's it's a beast this scent like it, it is it is a beast and i have to say that the first time i sprayed it, i kept racking up my head to ask myself i've smelled this before i've smelled it. this was even before i smelled baby cut guess what it smells very similar to auto wood by um latafa i'm going to put a picture on it it smells almost similar just that the beginning of latafa's auto wood has like a pungent really pungent wood and that almost wood or leather beginning that's very pungent and that is what makes it different from this one they all it ends up drying down to smell almost identical so if you want me to do a side by side between auto wood and this one i would love to do it because if you have auto wood it might be redundant to have this one so performance i um i would say that it, it it projects for the first two to three hours it's a very strong scent it projects very heavily um it is um one that would last on you for about 10 to 12 hours to be honest from about the ninth hour it gets much closer to you around to like a, a skin scent but it's a beast on your clothes it will last almost 48 hours like that is how strong it is you 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 drop your clothes somewhere you pass and the whole room is filled with the scent of this beautiful with cut scent it's so so beautiful and then um for sillage it fills a room like it fills a room i'll say that you have about two arms length of sillage somebody standing two arms length from you they will smell you if you leave a room this scent will stay it will linger for minutes after you have left like this is a very beautiful beast mode and i find that it is also so well blended that you it will take you a couple of words and it will take like a very distinct nose to even pick up what is on it especially if you just look at the notes at the back and not sort of really you know stay with it and pick up the the notes that you're getting at the end of this when it reaches like the three hour mark when it's not projecting heavily it, it becomes a very nice almost vanilla leathery woody scent like thing but it's not like a very strong leather it's more like a suede kind which is very smooth it is so beautiful i'll say that for when you can wear this this is definitely going to be a scent for fall and winter because it's quite strong it, it has a way of in the heat you may not enjoy this but if you're one that doesn't mind you can wear it all year round but i would say that for people that wear fragrances for spe specific times it would be for um fall and then towards the winter i also say that if you want to wear it maybe on other times of the year it's better when it's cool during evenings good evening scent i'll say that this scent is unisex but leans almost 65 percent masculine it this for a woman it's you have to be one that has you know played with different fragrances love working with different fragrances for you to enjoy the scent to be purely candid because it's quite it could be challenging i wouldn't say that this is a safe line buy nope this is one that i would urge you to sort of try in the shop before you buy it because it is one that you need to love certain kinds of fragrance combinations certain note combinations to be able to enjoy this so if, if if you would have to you might buy this and then keep it and then maybe along your journey like it but i don't think this is one this this is sort of curated for a setting certain people that have certain taste of scent especially for women if you're a woman that likes a lot of florals and other things you may not like but if you love vanilla this is a beautiful vanilla scent so you can give it a try but again i find that this is one that you need to sort of um, sample before you, you you buy it it's not one that you just i'll just say spend your money on it on a blind buy no it's good to test it out and see how you feel about it again i would compare this side by side by um with um latafa's auto wood because it smells so similar and in my mind i feel like if you have this or the other it's almost going to be redundant to have the two so basically yeah so that you save your coins to be much honest it, it would be redundant to have the two because at the, they, they are different from the beginning till about the three four hour mark but when they dry down they smell almost identical so because of that but i'm going to if you want me to do the two so you can you know sort of make up your mind and get a close-up side by side let me know so thank you for watching this video if you have watched to this point 
and um, you have not liked this video and you have not subscribed please hit the like button and also don't forget to click the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that you are always notified when i upload a new video thank you for watching this video let me know what your scent of the day is in the comment section let me know what you if you've had any experience with this fragrance and what your thoughts are and i'll see you in my next video stay safe and stay scented bye bye